Kijk, als de aanvaller naar de bal krijgt, tussen de keeper en de laatste man, wat is het dan? Ja, bij het spel. Dank je wel. Het is een man. Hmm. Nou, dit is dus de huiskamer. En dan komen we hier bij de slaapkamer. Oh, ja. Met... The kitchen, eh? Yes. And here I want a walk-in fridge. You know? Ah! Yes. So you like kitchen? Yes. Okay. Walk-in fridge. <laughs> Hé hey jongens, zijn jullie nog niet begonnen?
mei 1961. De dag dat er in Maldegem geen post werd rondgebracht. Het was de avond ervoor dat Jean de Nooyer aan het eind van zijn lange toer Hoegaardse das ontdekte. Dat was een ervaring die zijn smaak voor de dingen des levens voorgoed zou veranderen. Gaat verpillig is! Hey, dat is pas lekker! Vanaf die dag brengt Jean de Nooyer geen post meer rond. Maar is hem de baas van Café Zottekop in Maldegem. I would describe my political views as the new right. I say that I'm left. Feminism today is man-hating. I would describe myself as a feminist, 100%. I don't believe that climate change exists. We're not taking enough action on climate change. I think it's about time these people got off the high horse and started looking for credible problems that actually exist. It's absolutely critical that trans people have their own voice. That's not right, you can't, you know, you're, you're a man, be a man, or you're a female, be a female. Women do need to remember that we need you to have our children. Could I be friends with someone that says the women's place is in the home? Um... Right, OK, well, I'm an expert at flat packs. If you have any trouble, just watch me. So it looks like I've got your instructions here. I think so. Let me help you. Let's just that bit there. Describe what it is like to be you in five adjectives. OK. Frustrating. Dedicated. Opinionated. Lucky. Ambitious. Offensive. Solemn. I have ups and downs. Strong. I want to say attacked. Misunderstood. Name three things you and I have in common. We're both male, we're both confident, and we're both loudly spoken. We know each other better than people who've known each other for ten minutes should. You seem quite ambitious and positive, and you've got this really, um... Got a glow. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your aura is pretty cool. I'm sensing. Are you uh, for military or something? People have said that, but there is no, really? there is no history. So are you then ex ex military? Um, yeah. If you're ex military, I'm very proud of you already. Well, so I grew up uh, in a bit of a rough state. I've experienced homelessness. I've known what it's like to have absolutely nothing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely most grateful just just for life we've only just met but i think you're the sort of person that would listen to me and we'd have a discussion rather than argue yeah you could hang out with man let's go my chance goodness sake you're right mate fitter than a look perfect oh yeah there you go it's basically i think we just bought a bar yeah okay here you are. <laughs> Each take a bottle and place it on its corresponding markings on the bar. Attention, please now stand to watch a short film. Feminism today is definitely an excuse for misandry, man-hating. If somebody said to me that climate change is destroying the world, then I'd say that is total piffle. So transgender, it is very odd. We're not set up to understand or see things like that. I am. A daughter, a wife. I am transgender. I feel like the battle for feminism definitely isn't done. The fight is never going to be over, if I'm honest with you. You now have a choice. You may go, or you can stay and discuss your differences over a beer. I'm only joking. <laughs> You're happy for a second then. Well, I'm having a drink. I'm having a drink. Yeah. I want to discuss. Beer. Yeah, beer and discuss. Cheers. At the end of the day, mate. I'm reaching out to people. With you. Yeah. And, you know, even if you wanted to convince people about your point, the productive thing to do would be to sit it's down engaged. and have a beer. engage. Just engage. I've been brought up in a way where everything's black and white, but life isn't black and white. Yeah, I'm just me. <laughs> yeah. Smash the patriarchy. <laughs> I'll give you my mobile number, you give me yours. Uh -huh. 
and we'll keep in touch. I'd have to tell my girlfriend that I'd be texting another girl. <laughs> she might get upset with that, but I'll have to get round that. I'll have to tell my girl that she'll have to lump it.